Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition and episode of Let's Play Team Fortress 2. I'm your handsome host, Mike Lyle. And uh, today I will be playing for you the Pyro class, which is my favorite class of all time. I think it takes enormous amounts of skill, and I'm also full of shit, because I didn't mean any of that. It's a class I'm actually notorious for not liking. Um, I'm not going to rip on it because of the apparent lack of skill it, it, it provides. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip on it because I think it's an all-around shitty class. Um, as well, there's many reasons for that. Um, the main, reason, main reasons I have is that I just don't think it has a good role in this game. I don't think it does anything great. Uh, you know, you can go pretend you're an ambush class like this all you want. And this guy just no scope me. You can pretend it has a role all you want. People make up fucking roles for this class all the time. Honestly, I don't see a point because nothing compels me to play Pyro because what I think a lot of Pyro players do is they start with I want to play the Pyro class. What can I do with them? How I start with class is I want to snipe the fuck out of everything. What class will do that the best? So, you know, that's kind of the change of mentality right there and that's what I think the problem is. Um, I think I think it doesn't do anything well and so nothing really compels me to play that class. Nothing really nothing really compels me at all. I, I just think it's full of shit. Okay, well, I, I, I kept trying to flare gun him. I, I was failing miserably. So, you know, all you do is you kind of hold down mouse one and you're killing everything. It's, it's, it's absolutely the best class I've ever played. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's got a really easy to aim primary weapon. That's why I guess a lot of the shit it does. For being basically a um, an unskilled class, but um, as I said, I don't really care the amount of skills something takes because, my opinion, something like the uh, something like the uh, whoa, okay, you're gone. Something like the medic doesn't take a lot of skill either, but that doesn't matter to me uh, because you know a medic is a helpful class. If Pyro's a helpful class, I would probably not care about him either. Um. You know, and I'm, I'm missing these fart gun shots a lot. I'm, I keep switching to it and I keep clicking. It's not doing it. But, you know, I, I don't think it's very helpful uh, in what it does. Because a lot of people, uh, you know, they go and they're like... Um, you know, I kind of just randomly right click and then, uh, you know, I just win everything. You know, and th that's, the, that's the pyro in a nutshell. Is he right clicks. Bye. I like the new Dead Ringer nerf they added. If I just kind of flame him for a couple minutes, then uh, you know, I kill him basically. Dead Ringer is no longer a viable weapon. Oh, and I couldn't do anything. Oh well. Okay, but <laughs> my best for healing is best for Pyro almost because I I reflected that dr that milk. Okay, so that's basically. It. I think people play Pyro because they think he's a cutesy class. He's mysterious and all that kind of shit. Kind of like how people like. Spock from Star Trek, I guess, or some shit. Um, you know, it's a, it's a class with no face, you know. But you know, speaking from it from a purely meta game standpoint, um, you know, everyone has their own definition of what what his role is. I think his role is simply to be utility. That's it. He's not good at much else. Uh, because of the fact he has a really short range weapon and his 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 air blast is the the main the main thing you're going to be working with basically cuz that's how it works um y you're going to be air blasting people out and whatever else you know it's that's pretty much it and i just got hit by a huntsman that's okay i can just i can go taunt over here and scare off all the spies I don't know, it's it's one of those things that, it's like, what are you, the fucking engineer's pet? Okay, you know, I'm just gonna roll over, like, whatever all the, <laughs> roll over engineer's pet, okay. I'm gonna just roll over what all the class, like, what other people think he does well. Um, that was a good shot by him. It, it basically goes like this, it's like, you know, oh, is he out of, is he an ambushing class? Which is, you know, that's apparently his official class description, is he's supposed, he's supposed to be for ambushing. Uh, no, he's not because he doesn't have the tools to do it. He has the power jack that now to make him basically run fast. Oh, this engineer is awesome. He just fucking air blasted all that shit. <laughs> I like that engineer. 
Okay, sorry. Let, let me let me continue on, on what I was talking about. Ah, oh, dude, I'll, I'll get him for you. Oh, well, you're dead. Um, I'll roll like ambushing. He doesn't have the tools for it because he's got like a back burner. Okay. Uh, what's the back burner really do? Come on. Uh, I tried to. Uh, what's the back burner really do? Like, come on, it's it's a like you got to get behind people. Well, what tools do you have to get behind people? The scout can double jump into crevices and shit. The spy has a cloak. Uh, those two are those two classes are infinitely better at, at ambushing for those reasons. So you know, there's no it's, he's not an ambushing class. It's not what he's for. Uh, is he for uh, close range offense? Uh, no, once again, that the heavy is much better at that. The heavy, the heavy is just absolutely incredible at, at being a, a, a close range. People run away from heavies for a very good reason. People run away from heavies because they're very, very deadly. They, they basically just, they, they, they just spin up and then they chew everything up, basically. You know, and that's, that's basically why heavies are the king of close range. They will always be the king of close range. Uh, and they're arguably better at it too. And I wish I had air blasted that guy out. Why don't I have a long range air blast? Let me go kill this guy. Saw a kid over here. Actually, let's use this. I'll make him mad. I don't know. He doesn't do anything particularly well. Like, they, they're trying to air blast me off the cart so I can cap it. Okay, that's utility. That's utility for you. Bye. That's utility. That's that's probably the only proper use he'll get, is getting him on a point and doing that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of other things that people say he does well. Um, he's 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 a good beginner class, I'll say that much. Like, that's that's one of the things he does excel at, is he's a, like, he's, the, the flamethrower, let's, kind of, like, just take it, to break it down. The flamethrower is basically a, a close range, very easy to aim weapon, but you know, it's got hard limits. It's not like, uh, you know, not like the rocket launcher, which you have to deal with the limits of the reload. You gotta make the most out of your shots. That doesn't work. Uh, it, it's not like the heavy where you have the spin up and you have to deal with the spin up. It's not that kind of, that kind of downside to it. Uh, it's not like the sniper rifle where you have to be very extremely accurate with it and you have to be scoped in. You have the tunnel vision, you know, it's not like that either. Well, what is the flamethrower? What's the flamethrower's downside? Well, the flamethrower's downside is, um... You basically just kind of deal with the, uh, the fact you have to get into range. And the power doesn't have any tools to get into range. He just has the, 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 the stupid power jack, and you take more damage from that, for that at this point. Um... So it's like, what's the fucking point of playing the class? There is no point. But anyways, you know, and that's, that's what I mean. So, and you know what? These days, actually, everybody has their own damn counter to the, the afterburn. Nobody likes afterburn, but everybody has a counter to it. Like, scouts got the milk, snipers have the Jurati, uh, you know, soldiers uh, fucking just kill you outright, um, demo men have shield. You know, if, if, if really th there's a pyro problem on a map, every class has their own kind of hard counter to it. Um, not really hard counter, sorry, that's, that's the wrong phrasing. There, pyro doesn't really have hard counters, he just kind of sucks at everything, so he doesn't really do anything right. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it, like, you know, people don't like my opinion like that, and that's, but I just don't feel compelled to play the class at all. Um, now, the best load I have found is actually Degreaser, Flare Gun, and, uh, and, and Power Jack. Uh, this is the best kind of combat and utility loadout I, I figure I could use. I don't really rely on afterburn and fire damage too much. I rely on the crit I get with the flare gun mostly. If I beat another pyro, I just air blast it back and let my team deal with it. Because that's actually usually what will happen. Because I'm, I'm, I'm completely in, within my right to do that. I'll just come around this corner and get killed by crit stickies. That's fine too. Um, you know, it's... Like, look at what this guy's doing. He's, he's apparently just gonna... He's, he's a long-range pyro with a shotgun. That's what he is. It's the best kind of pyro. Now, I've looked at what every class does that apparently plays the class correctly. And I tried to get that guy, but I, at least the, the engineer is dead. The afterburn is an annoyance at best. It's basically, if you get, if you're going, you're not going for afterburn kills at all. You're, you're going for, 
if, if you kill anybody with that, it's be, it's because of luck. Don't even pretend, don't even lie about it. It's, it's, it's luck. Oh, it's Logicinator Pyro. Let's go over here and push the cart. Oh no, we got it. I'm just gonna go over here and actually get this. It's good. It's gonna be luck. The, the the afterburn doesn't do anything. There's too many counters to it. You got lucky because there wasn't a medic around. There wasn't a med pack around. All that kind of shit. Bleed damage, for Christ's sake, is more effective. Bleed damage is more effective than afterburn. So, why? Why? What's the point? Um. <laughs> so then there's that. So okay. So we we cross off afterburn. So afterburn is not really a, a core component of the pirate class. It's just kind of like a nice perk. You get you get it. Really, you get a bonus kill once in a while. Oh, whoops. And he moved his sentry slightly or something. Oh, well. That was my bad. Or I didn't notice where it actually was in position. Uh, so his fire... Well, then if, if Afterburn's not a primary component of his class since it can be countered so well, what's the point then? Uh, so you're basically playing for a, close, a powerful close-range weapon. Once again, the powerful close-range weapon belongs to the... Uh, The powerful close range weapon belongs to the heavy. He just gets an afterburn with it. So just imagine the minigun with a. Just imagine the uh, uh, sorry the heavy with uh, um, that that oh the heater he has the heater so you know the pyro can't even have fire anymore you know the, the, he he's even been replaced by uh, oh, oh I set him on fire. <laughs> Demos are my direct counter. So you know it's one of those things. Like anything you you can list, the the it's just simply the and so another class does it better, and that's why I never play the pyro. Uh, it's just utility, but you never you never go into a game saying I want to be utility. It's just kind of like, well, I'm playing pyro, and this is nice to have. You know, it, it came as a perk. That's it. Alright, well, I made it over. And there you go, I just got a reflect kill. Awesome stuff. You know what? And you know what the secret to reflect kills are? Anticipation. I knew he was going to do a rocket attack. Why wouldn't he? It's what he does. He does. Damn it, I need to get health now. Fuck you, scout. It's my health. Get back here, scout! You fucking... There you go. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm an awesome guy. I wish I could... Well, I, could I could actually kind of just range that from there, but... I, can't, I don't really have much I can do. Now, I'm now kind of like at a, at a standstill, because I don't have any tools to actually do anything to help. I'm a pyro at close range that sentry's gonna eat me up if I go anywhere near it. I could try and go down the side here. Oh, let's try that. Let's see if the sentry doesn't kill me. There you go. I, I disrupted a bunch of people. I got like two kills from that, so. It's mindless. It's it's mindless fun. That's that's the best I could describe it as. Uh, but for me it's not fun. I I don't have fun doing this. It's uh you know, you run into it if, like, I don't like them, I like tactics, kind of, and meta and shit like that, and, you know, I like getting a sick headshot or something, or, you know, a really cool beat shot with the scout, or, or something like that, you know, I like that. There's a lot of fun to be had with those classes. You know, this is kind of just, like, whatever, it's, people, people start with, I want to play the pyro, what can the pyro do to assist me? And I, I don't really, I can't really share their sentiments at all because it's just kind of like, well, now I'm pretty much flare gun spamming. There, there's much I can do. Well, I'm not very helpful. Hey, look, I just got some from long range. <laughs> got him with a flare gun. Oh god, the sniper got me. Now I know why pyros hate snipers so much. 
I don't know. I'm I'm forced to kind of play in a situation where I can't really go up that close. I I would have to like you know I, like at this point I I feel I should be I would be better off like playing like switching to soldier to take out the sentry demo to take out the sentry sniper to pick off some people at long range. Scout would be a better harasser than I'm being right now. Way better harasser. Um, I don't know. I could be a medic and, and heal and help my help my team move up. Oh hey look, we're we we can actually go get the sentry. So like you know, and right now like I could be capping this way faster. Oh he's dead. And once again I got headshotted by a, a, a sniper. So what the flare gun is for? So um so why do I bring along the setup I do? Well I've already told you I don't really like the fire damage or the fire. Um, I feel that if I'm running at, if I'm running into people and just like W mouse wanting essentially. By the way, if you don't know what W mouse one is, it's a it's a little joke because. Uh, um, all that's required to play Pyro is I'm moving forward and holding mouse one. Right, that right now that is all I'm doing. But that's that's the joke with the class, basically, is you're you're not being very helpful. <laughs> oh, let's just cap this. That's the whole joke with it, and you know, and, and that's why when you hear in any game, you know, me going, oh, it's a W mouse one or whatever, then that's the reason. It's, it's based upon this class. Because this is a, this, and you can't blame them, because it's like, this is a weapon where you want to get as close as humanly possible, and you want to chase stuff, because, you know, you run at basically the same movement speed as most light classes do. You're an oddity, you're apparently supposed to be a combat class, I think. Um, I think that's how they designed it. It doesn't do enough damage to be one, but let's just say you are. Um, and you want to be as close as possible. So you're, you're basically just going to chase after people and just hold down your fire button. Because, you know, as the other weapons I listed before, like rocket launcher, heavy weapons, uh, the, the sash or whatever, the minigun, all those other ones, you know, there's some sort of penalty for, for just kind of mindlessly holding the button down. Like, either you're wasting ammo... Uh, which the pyro has enough of it, uh, assuming that you're actually killing people and not just running out of the gates with it on. Uh, or, um, you know, the minigun has a spin up time, so, you know, you can't really dub the mouse one into stuff. You're not going to be moving, you're not going to be chasing anybody. But, um, so yeah, I, so I use the degreaser because it has the quicker uh, switch speed, and the flare gun gives you a crit on a burning target. And the power jack makes you move fast, so... Ah, oh, that was easy. There's a sniper there watching me. So, um, the whole thing with the air blast and flare gun combo is basically what you want to do is you want to find someone... Kind of like a puff and sting, because even against scouts, if you manage to get a flare gun hit... Uh, it's basically uh, it's basically a guaranteed crit now. Uh, it's 90 damage, especially with this one. Can't run in there. Um, you can't like you get a free crit, and so I'm basically like, well, why not have a free crit? The free crit sounds like the most amazing thing in the world. You idiot snipers. I'm trying to air blast you out. When will you learn? There's also the dispenser here. So, I, fi I figure that's actually one of the best things, is, is just to kind of like air blast things out, you know? It's quite possibly the best thing ever um, with this. And then power jack just to move faster. Here, I'll just go to another one. Basically, this one I'm doing degreaser again, except I have the scorch shot, which is... Uh, as a bit of a knockback, it's a knockback one. So in case you don't... Maybe you're running a flamethrower that doesn't have... Yeah, okay, I'm not fighting that. Oh, apparently I am fighting that. Yeah, he had way more health than I thought he would have. Um, the Scorch Shot is more of a... It has a knockback effect to the Flare Gun. I find it to be kind of pointless, to be honest. And then you can have the Extinguisher, because I, I want to show off a little bit of Puff and Sting as well, which is a super, super popular and pro pyrotactic, I hear. So, one of the things that this thing does is it has a splash radius. So, if I kind of just hit him... Which I didn't. Oh god, I suck with this thing. Haha, uh, I took out your sentry gun. 
Yeah, okay, I'm not hitting anybody with this. Come to Papa. There you go. You know, it's it's that's basically it. You get 100% crits. There's no reason not to take the extinguisher unless you want the power jack. Extinguisher is like a direct upgrade. Where the hell is he? Right there. Okay. Good job, team. So, you know, as a pyro, it's funny because you can undermine other pyros. So pyros hate you because you counter them. Because you can air blast them away. They want to be close, but you can air blast them. And you also can do spy checks, which is basically just let the spies kind of run into you and catch on fire. But although it's impossible to fucking see anything when you're doing that. And I got killed by a sentry. 